Welcome to our channel, where we keep you informed and empowered in the dynamic worlds of cybersecurity, hacking human vulnerabilities, and enduring space news. From data breaches to exciting discoveries, we've got it all covered. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click the notification bell, so you never miss an update. Join us as we explore these thrilling topics together. Reporting on July 24, 2023. Two banks experienced open-source software supply chain attacks recently, marking the first of their kind. The attacks involved uploading malicious scripts to the NPM open-source software platform. In one incident, infected packages were posted, containing scripts that decoded encrypted files and downloaded malware onto targeted computers, while the attacker posed as a bank employee on a fake LinkedIn page. In the other attack, Hackers planted dormant malicious code on a bank's login page, intercepting login data and transmitting it to a remote location when activated. Checkmark's researchers discovered and removed the malicious packages, but they anticipate a continued trend of attacks against the banking sector's software supply chain. This highlights growing concerns about the safety of open-source software. In response to a similar vulnerability in Log4j, the House Homeland Security Committee approved the Securing Open Source Software Act to ensure the safety of open source software used by government and critical infrastructure entities. Reporting on July 24, 2023, two banks experienced open source software supply chain attacks recently, marking the first of their kind. The attacks involved uploading malicious scripts to the NPM open source software platform. In one incident, infected packages were posted containing scripts that decoded encrypted files and downloaded malware onto targeted computers, while the attacker posed as a bank employee on a fake LinkedIn page. In the other attack, hackers planted dormant malicious code on a bank's login page, intercepting login data and transmitting it to a remote location when activated. Checkmark's researchers discovered and removed the malicious packages, but they anticipate a continued trend of attacks against the banking sector's software supply chain. This highlights growing concerns about the safety of open-source software. In response to a similar vulnerability in Log4j, the House Homeland Security Committee approved the Securing Open Source Software Act to ensure the safety of open-source software used by government and critical infrastructure entities. Microsoft SharePoint and OneDrive for Business experienced a brief interruption due to a mistake involving a German TLS certificate. This certificate was accidentally added to the main SharePoint.com domain used for Microsoft 365 services. As a consequence, users encountered certificate errors while accessing SharePoint Online, OneDrive for Business, and files in Microsoft Teams. The issue was identified and resolved by Microsoft within 10 minutes. The TLS common name mismatch error affected visitors from the US and other countries trying to access SharePoint.com. Users reported the problem on social media platforms like Reddit and Twitter. Although the interruption was short-lived, it had a significant impact on users' ability to use the affected Microsoft services. Norway has been hit by a cyber attack affecting 12 government ministries, the latest incident targeting Europe's largest gas supplier and NATO's northernmost member. The attack was identified through unusual traffic on a supplier's platform and has been under investigation since July 12. Specific details about the attack and its perpetrators remain undisclosed. Fortunately, key ministries like the Prime Minister's Office, Foreign, Defense, and Justice were not affected due to their separate IT platform. This is not the first time Norway faced cyber threats. A previous DDoS attack was linked to a criminal pro-Russian group in June 2022. The country's cybersecurity agency has reported a significant rise in cyber attacks in recent years. As a NATO member and supporter of Ukraine, Norway's security measures are closely monitored, given its border with Russia and its strategic role in the region.